we have found a 13th century castle that we can stay in. Welcome to our home for the night. We get to explore this place, it's so cool. It's a pretty in pink castle. A bit creepy. It's a bit creepy. But how cool is it to wake up to this view? Nostravia. Nostravia. Good morning guys from Wroclaw, Poland. Today we are doing something very, very exciting. In every country we go to, we really like to find like a really unique stay, something that we haven't done anywhere else before. And I think we have smashed it here in Poland. We have found a 13th century castle that we can stay in. That is crazy. It's actually one of the most famous castles in all of Poland, Zeiss Castle. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's about a two hour train journey plus a bus to get there. Um, and it only costs around, well, I don't think it's bad to stay in a castle for around 50 pounds per night. This is a castle with so much history, obviously dating back to the 13th century. It was actually under German rule in World War II and they wanted to make it into like Hitler's residence. So there's so much to see there. We can do a tour of the castle, stay in a castle, eat in a castle. It's gonna be good. Is this one of your dreams? What? To live in a castle? Yeah, I'm actually very, very excited. It's gonna be different. We've got to, we've got a long journey. Although it's only two hours away, we've got to get a taxi, we've got to get a train, we've got to get a bus, and then I think we've got to walk because castles are never easy, are they? They're not, and the weather looks hopefully a little bit better than what we've had in Vroslav. Fingers crossed. Taxi done, now train at the prettiest train station in Poland. Welcome to Valbridge. I think that's where we are, Valbridge Miasto. Train done and now we have to get the bus. I asked in the train station, it's somewhere along here. Welcome to our home for the night. How cool is this size castle, a 13th century castle. We're sort of our home. We're staying on the grounds in the Sice Hotel, which is like right behind us. We can't check in yet, which is kind of a good thing. It gives us more time to explore the grounds, explore the castle, do the tours. Um, we ended up having to get a taxi in the end. Um, all the information to get here by public transport is on the website, but the bus didn't come, so I wasn't waiting all day. Got a taxi, but we get to explore this place. It's so cool. And that's the hotel. We just wanted to say thank you to our friends at Skyscanner for sponsoring part of our Poland trip, this six week Poland trip. But of course you will have all or most of you heard of or used Skyscanner at some point, but we wanted to tell you how you can use Skyscanner to budget and plan your trips. We are so excited for this opportunity, mainly because we use Skyscanner all the time, literally all, the, all time. the time. One of the best things about Skyscanner is the price alerts. You can sign up and it is completely free and they will send you an email when the flight either goes up or down, preferably down. We all, <laughs> we all want them to go down, don't we? It is so easy to set up the price alert, so easy to also turn the price alerts Even off. Even I can do it. But who would want to turn the price alerts off because you want to find them best deals? Say you have a certain budget in mind for your flights or you don't get paid till the end of the month. This way you can keep track of the price of the flights so they don't go up too much. Another great option with Skyscanner is to search the whole month. If you have the flexibility when you're going away on your midweek break or summer holiday, you can search for the whole month. Firstly, it will show you a traffic light system so you can see the red, yellow or green. Red <laughs> being more expensive, green being cheaper. Then you can click on the whole month and it will show you the price of the flights for each particular day so then you can find the cheapest flight and which one works best for you. These are just a couple of tricks that we use when planning our trips and a couple of things that can save you money, they save us money, Definitely. that's for sure. But again, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Skyscanner for sponsoring this portion of our Poland travel series. Let's get flight searching and back to the video. This is honestly so cool and I got changed into my pink jumper so that I could match this 
building because it's a pretty in pink castle. We don't actually know what you're supposed to do. We haven't done we that much We need to get some tickets. Research. Can you believe this is our hotel though? We have to get tickets and we're literally staying. We're basically staying. We are, we are in the like grounds. This little bridge into the castle. It is so unique. But we've got to get tickets, find out what we're doing and then we can head in. You know you're staying in the castle grounds when you need to leave to get the tickets. I think we have figured out our tickets. Well, we've ended up with two different tickets. We've got a ticket with an audio guide for the castle, which is 45 Zloty. And we've got a ticket for tomorrow um, to see the underground sort of caves, the underground routes below the castle. And we've got a map that shows us the grounds of this place. It is huge. Um, so we're gonna get up extra early tomorrow and try and explore as much of the grounds because some of the walks are like a few kilometers and it'll be dark and we'll miss the castle because the castle actually only closes at four in the winter. So we've only got like an hour and a half to explore our home for the night. It is very majestic. I think that is the only word that I can describe the castle and actually it's been destroyed and rebuilt so many times. There's so much history about it. So who knows what is original and what's not. But all I know is I'm just obsessed with the fact that it's pink. It is such a vast area. I presume back in the 13th century this was positioned in the best strategic location on top of the Owl Mountains. Um, I think that's what they're called anyway. And it's just forest for miles on end. I bet this just looks beautiful in the summer with the lush green forest surrounding this majestic pink castle. Molly, this is, I can't believe we end up at a pink castle. <laughs> Oh, look at you, you're very <laughs> snazzy. This is a very high-tech audio guide, but of course we've already got I think lost it has and GPS. we're being told it keeps off. Saying. Move closer to the window. But it's very interesting to see how many rooms there are on the first floor. I didn't realize there was like five floors to the castle. It's huge. We've just found out that actually the castle's built on stones, so there's no, no foundations. foundations. I'm actually kind of scared. And when you look out the window, you can actually see some of the stones from over 700 years ago. How are they still standing? This is really cool. It has the family tree of the castle. It started back in 1509 and the Hochberg family went all the way along different generations up until World War II, when the Nazis unfortunately took control of this castle for a short period. I mean, do you reckon this is going to be what our room's like? Uh, well, Fit it's, for a queen? It's ever so royal, isn't it? I don't know what it is about <laughs> this whole pine wood bed and this little tiny cushion and the... How small slightly... people used to be as well. Yeah. Have we just grown and I been think stretched? We're getting huge. The views from up here are incredible. Looking over the Owl Mountains. I don't know if that's a nickname for the Valbrecht mountains you can just imagine the kings the princes the princesses looking out the window and it actually shows you different rooms so like the styles it would have been they got the castle back once the nazis the germans had left here so it sort of has so much history from each era throughout the castle it's such a shame because everything was destroyed multiple times um a lot of the stuff isn't original some of the paintings that we see are they've been donated by the family um but yeah i mean everything's sort of so much was destroyed during World War II. They've had to bring things in to show you what the rooms would have looked like. This could be my favourite room. So when this room was rebuilt, the ceiling, that right there, was painted in 24 karat gold. So if there's any way we could just remove a little bit of the ceiling, we'll be living good for the rest of our lives. That's crazy. 24 karat gold on the ceiling. I don't think I've ever seen a hunting room before. Especially in a castle, there are some very strange things hanging. It's on a little the walls. bit creepy. It's a bit creepy. This is where we are heading tomorrow. So, this is the underground tunnels of the castle, which were actually built by the Germans during World War II. People are still unsure of the exact reasons and the purpose of these tunnels. Many think it might have been a bunker um, because they actually think this could have been like the headquarters and the house of Hitler at some point. So, they built them, they destroyed quite a lot of them, and they even think somewhere hidden in them recently they found that there's like a gold train or a train <laughs> full of gold somewhere buried in the grounds of this castle. I mean, I wouldn't mind being invited to this room. Party room. 
this is so fancy. It's unreal, huge windows. The craziest painting, like it's actually hurting my neck to look at the ceiling. So God knows what they would have done when they got Imagine invited being here. Invited. It's very grand. Before the tour is finished, we have found the Fortunes Rock, which has apparently become quite a tourist attraction here. It said that if you put one hand on it, left hand. your left hand, you will be successful in love. And if you put both hands on it, then you will return what would you prefer? one day. Um, I'm going to put both, because I think who wouldn't want to live in a castle? <laughs> you ready? Do it. What? We would find the castle's only little bar. This is so cool. The bar, the little restaurant here, right inside the castle is like in the old cellar. And we've got hot wine. Nostravia. Nostravia. I think we're the last two left in the castle. I think we are. We have about half an hour until the, class, the castle closes, so we better drink up. Nice little... Do you feel royal? Ooh. Do you feel like a queen? Do you think they would have drank my old wine? Mm. Probably not. No. <laughs> That was lovely. We're warmed up. We now have the really long walk back to our room. Hopefully it's ready. This is so cool. We're staying in a castle. Okay, this is nice. I didn't expect, I, I really expect it to be like antique, not so modern. Yeah, it's not as old as we were expecting, but can you believe we get to stay in a castle? I'll do a really quick room tour. So we have a little seating area, we have our chairs, we have our sofa, our desk, TV, and then you come in and we have a huge bedroom with a Question, can chairs. we see the actual... I think I can slight there's, tower there's there's a bit of a tower view. in the background. It was worth this. I think it's what like 10 15 pounds more for a yes, suite. Yes. We chose the suite because we thought, well, you know, we might as well treat ourselves. You only get to stay in a castle once and we are the king and queen. We the are. It's closed. Today. Everyone got kicked out at 4, but and us we still we're get staying to inside. This is very, very unique. We are out in the castle grounds. The gate is locked and we sort of have the whole place to ourselves, which is kind of cool and kind of creepy. Well, not to ourselves. There should be other people staying in the hotel. We are going to go and try and find the hotel restaurant. And I think there's another restaurant that's open on the ground still. But it's really nice. It's lit up so nice at night. And there's not another person around. This is very, very cool. We have found the restaurant to our hotel and the castle. Only access for us now, because obviously all the visitors have had to leave. I must be honest, the menu it is terrible. Luckily we found another restaurant on the ground somewhere, but they have the coolest beer ever. This is a beer named after the Golden Train, which is the myth about, or legend about, the train full of gold that was left somewhere here or buried somewhere here by the Germans, by the Nazis. Um, Hopefully this helps me find it. Good morning from the beautiful castle here. I still can't remember how to say it and that's probably because I am very very tired only us would leave our restaurant go to another restaurant and miss dinner the restaurant actually closed at seven um so we missed that and then ended up having to order pizza absolute lifesavers i felt very much like a modern princess having pizza in my castle but how cool is it to wake up to this view we've had a little frosting of snow overnight um and we're actually going to head to the viewpoint get a little bit of exercise in before we have our tour later i did not expect this this morning beautiful it's not, isn't it's it it's not quite zacopane but it's nice to have a little sprinkling of snow you can like i said yesterday do so many hikes here around the mountains but obviously we don't have so much time so we're going to do a short hike up to the viewpoint and hopefully we can find the gold train on the way Well, all 
another 10 minute walk and we've made it to the top of the viewpoint the viewpoint it's so beautiful we're lucky that it snowed you can see the old castle ruins over there not exactly sure on the entire details of it but um i don't even know how you get over there it's not like some sort of rock face thing over there and then here you have the views of the castle and the grounds it is pretty spectacular wow 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 this is very very impressive look at that it is amazing you can actually see all the different eras and the different architecture throughout the different periods from here Kajonj, i think that is the right pronunciation we've been saying it wrong <laughs> it's so impressive that the outside is just magical it's just such a shame that a lot of the history inside was ruined during the war but look at that we've got the sun the snow it's perfect into the underground Nazi bunker tunnels, whatever it was. We have our audio guide because we are the only English people on the tour. We're following a tour group and now we're in tunnels that are five meters high and six meters wide. This place is so eerie. It was built between 44 and 45 by people from concentration camps, local concentration camps, and they still don't know what it was built for. Was it uh, a bunker for Hitler? Was it for the train, the gold train that was underneath it? Or was it to make special weapons? It's even reinforced with concrete and special steel to withstand anything, and it would be even big enough for a train to fit through. It's crazy, half of the tunnels are undiscovered. This was supposed to be Hitler's emergency elevator. And we are back above ground. That was just so, so interesting. Really difficult to film, obviously, because it's so dark under there, but a place steeped in mystery. Why did they bring the concentration camp workers back when the Soviets were arriving to take the castle? What were they hiding? What was down there? People aren't 100% certain of what was going on. Was there a gold train? Um, they even brought people that worked on the tunnels back and they think there was a vault and that vault is now gone, it's hidden. What were they hiding in there? We have absolutely no idea. Parts of it were destroyed by the Soviets and there's kilometers of it underground. They extended it. Was it to be Hitler's bunker? We really don't know. I'd highly recommend doing it. Uh, you need audio guide if you're English because the tour is only in Polish, but that just makes the stay here even more interesting. You've got this great, grand, beautiful castle, amazing grounds. Sleep in here, definitely sleep here. It adds to the mystery that you're sleeping on top of this Nazi bunker that we're not sure exactly the reason it was there. So, so interesting. A great day, actually, really, well, a great day and night. We got to stay in a castle, so cool. Only in Poland, um, but we've got so much more left to come. We're actually heading to a new city today, so we'll see you in that new city in the next one. We've got a lot of traveling to do.